it's something that I tell clients when they come to us. If you're ready for change, if you're truly ready for change, this is the place for you. And that place, according to Thomas Young Jr., is a transitional home operated by the organization Real Life, where he works as a pathway navigator. Real Life's mission is to help men and women face the challenges of exiting incarceration here in Richmond. Real stands recovery from everyday addictive lifestyle. There are so many different things that are addictive that people face that don't involve drug use. It's why Dr. Sarah Scarborough, a former Richmond City Jail program director, founded the organization in 2016. Real life, we work with folks who are trying to overcome adversities from former incarceration, those who are battling homelessness and or substance use disorder. Um, so we work with them primarily through housing them in recovery housing and then helping them on their pathway towards thriving. Okay, this is my room right here. Maurice Washington resides at this home in Eastern Henrico and is a graduate of the Real Life program. Individuals like Washington are asked to dedicate six months to complete it where they live in one of the organizations eight transitional homes, five of which were open in the last year due to the growing demand of men and women being released from jail early due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was everything I needed. I was able to accomplish everything that I previously had. All of my goals that I, that I wanted to do, I was able to accomplish it. After attending multiple meetings daily like Narcotics or Alcoholics Anonymous, meeting with case managers, as well as attending classes that teach how to gain employment. And right here we have our classroom. Washington was asked to stay with real life and become a house manager. He also recently wrote a children's book called The 12 Step Ladder during that time, which is about essential keys to life he plans to release soon. If I can help, I want to help. Like I, I want to be a part of this program as, you know, as much as I can. This has helped me a lot as far as managing a lot of people. It's going to help me more in, in the business world as well. So I, I looked at it as an opportunity to grow more. Xavier Cooper is the newest resident here and after a couple of weeks says he's noticed a difference within himself thanks in part to real life's holistic and comprehensive approach. They helped me, you know what I'm saying, to understand things I probably wanted to know. I probably didn't know I wanted to know. What's been the biggest change for you in the last 18 days, as you said? Patience. Patience. You know what I'm saying? Just not rush. I know it's going to help me to get on track. And according to Scarborough, they have the statistics to show they can keep the thousands of real lifers they've worked with and the hundreds they've housed over the last five years on track. We track all kinds of data. Um, so we have a 1% reincarceration rate for folks that come through our program and a 7% relapse rate. Um, if you look at statistics from the city, um, from the city jail, it's about a 70% reincarceration rate. So that's a tremendous difference. To see them work get that paycheck, come here and lay the head down in peace and get up with a sense of, of pride. It, make, it makes it worthwhile. Is it easy to get there? No, no. But for those who do, it works. And the men and women who decide to enter the program do so without any upfront costs. It's only after they find employment that the organization asks them to pay fees for housing.